in Victoria. Yesterday we heard of how those using the QR codes to actually check in at various venues have been misled regarding data security. And today it seems the Victorian government's stance is, move along people, there's nothing to see here. Well, there's a state election in the next 12 months and all the indicators are, despite all of this, this dreadful Andrews government will actually hold on, despite all of these scandals. Matthew Back is the Shadow Attorney General in Victoria, Liberal MP, and he joins us now. Well, Mr Back, good to see you. Back or Bark? I should get that right. Bark, I guess, like the composer, uh, Matthew. And uh, indeed, uh, what are you going to do about this? This is a very scandal-plagued government. They need you blokes to take them on. What can you do? Yeah, quite right, Gary. Um, the government here in Victoria needs to come clean. Uh, over the last couple of days, Victorians have learnt about a new scandal. And you're right, it's just another scandal. You're not going to find one single Victorian who's shocked about the idea that the Andrews Labor government would lie to them. But, but this scandal is bigger than just a lie. A lie about our contact tracing data, our QR code data. The government said categorically and repeatedly on the record that this data could only ever be used for contact tracing purposes or because of a Supreme Court judgment that's now become public, it's, it's abundantly clear that that's a lie. More worrying, though, is the fact that the government then actively sought to cover it up through a secret affidavit. So uh, there are a whole series of really important questions that Victorians must now have the answers to, Gary. How much taxpayer money was spent in an effort to cover up this judgment that showed the Andrews Labor government was lying? Who authorised the secret affidavit? What did the Premier know? Who else knew in his office? Um, I, I don't entirely accept the premise, though, that the Victorian people aren't desperately concerned about the ongoing scandals engulfing the Victorian government, about corruption here in our state. Um, there's a fight on um, uh, at the next election. We're going to take it up to the Andrews Labor government uh, all the way. People said we couldn't win in 2010, and we did. Um, I agree that there's a real stench about this government, and we're going to pull out all the stops as we work uh, all the way through to the next election in November 2022.